Hello my little cherry blossoms, welcome to episode 4 of Zoocraft. As you may be able to tell, we have quite the few animal friends behind us right now, <laughs> keeping us company at the cabin. I also realized we probably should replant these because I think they're too close to the buildings to be able to grow. I think they can grow better if they're a little further away. Um, also, it has been two days since we have talked to Jessa, which means we should be able to go over and find Lucy, the animal specialist, and get our baby wolves in. I'm so excited. Let's go ahead over there right away. Oh, on our way, I thought we might as well plant these violets around the path since I did want these around. Um, I think that they're very cute and I liked the fact that Jessa's path had some, so I thought we might as well place them down real quick. There we go. Now off to Jessa's. <gasps> Her cute little house. Oh, oh. No one else is here. Hey, Jessa. Hiya. Lucy's waiting around back. Go talk to her as soon as you can. I will go over there right now. I am so excited. <laughs> See, around back, I'm assuming. <gasps> what is this? What even are you? What is this? Is this? <gasps> are these our wolves? <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> There's a baby wolf. There's two baby wolves and a and a and a mama wolf? Question mark? A daddy wolf? Uh, just a big wolf? I don't know. Hi, Lucy. Nice to meet you. Oh my gosh. I, she is foxy. She's so cute. <laughs> well, hello there. You must be our first zookeeper. Pleasure to meet you. Now, I brought you a mama wolf and her two cubs. They were found wooded in the woods and we tucked them in. Now they have a great home here at the zoo. Now, be careful. I think the wolves are hungry. You may want to get some animals out of their pathway. Laters. <laughs> later uh okay um i don't think there's many things in their pathway right now we do need to get some things for them to like be lured um so sadly we are going to have to kill a cow i believe okay so off camera i got some raw prime beef and some pork chops and sadly also some leather don't worry about it don't think too hard about it um let's just keep going let's just let's just keep going they were on their way out the door. Don't worry. Don't worry. Let's bring our little guys to their enclosure. Let's see. Hi. Oh my gosh. I just fell in here with you guys. I didn't mean to intrude on your personal space by any means. Hello. Do you guys want some... Oh, <gasps> some food? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on, little guy. Come on. You got this. I think he's stuck. Let's, let's help him out a little bit. Okay. Come on. Why aren't you guys following? Let's see, we might need to get a lead. I'm wondering if Jessa has one. Okay, I talked with Jessa and she has some leads. So we can get these guys to their habitat. Come on, buddies. Let's get your guys' mom. Don't you want to hang out with your babies? Yeah, <gasps> we got them. Let's take them back to their new home. I hope they like it. Okay, guys, we're almost there. Do not worry. Just a little bit further. Come on. Oh, there you go. Oh, good job, guys. Welcome to your guys' new home. Let me show you around a little bit. Um, So this is your water area. Very nice. There's animals glitching through the wall a little bit. It's okay. It's okay. Um, Then over here, we have a nice little cave. If you guys, if you guys want to come over here, you guys don't have to, but you can. You can if you want to. I'm not saying you have to. Oh! He's hanging up by the water. Over here, we have a nice little cave that you guys can sleep in. So don't even worry about, you know, not having a place to shelter yourselves. And yeah, I will be coming by and feeding you guys. And we'll be hiring more zookeepers to take good care of you. Um, but in the meantime, enjoy your home. I'm also going to eat because I am a little bit hungry. Have a good night, little guys. We'll have to get them name tags and uh, name tags so they are um, official zoo animal members if that makes sense let's go ahead and take a quick little nap though good morning zoo craft oh my gosh the series has been so much fun to do so far and oh my gosh look at this view oh i love it so much i love our little world we're making i love it so much okay so now on to what habitat we will be building next we're gonna go ahead and name the little wolves. I'm gonna go over to Jessa. I'm sure she has a name tag. So I'm gonna go talk to Jessa and get some name tags and an anvil. <laughs> okay, I asked Jessa for name tags and she gave me 64. I'm assuming because we're gonna have a lot of animals we're gonna have to name, but she also has a little anvil. So we can go ahead and name some. So I'm thinking for, I've already been calling her mama 
the the mother wolf. Um, I thought we could do something M since we've already been calling her mama. So maybe Mama Molly, maybe um, Mom Tilda, Mom Tilda. Honestly, that's kind of cute. <laughs> Let's do Mom Tilda. And then for the little guys, we'll do Jax and Jade. Awesome! Let's go ahead and go name them. I'm so excited. <laughs> Hello, buddies! Oh my gosh, did they already grow up? They grew up overnight? Oh my gosh, they were older than I thought they were then. Okay, let's see if I could tell you guys apart. Um, I think you're Mom Tilda. You're giving me Mom Tilda vibes. You are Jax and you are Jade. <gasps> oh my goodness, you guys are doing so good. Oh. You guys are doing amazing. And I hope you enjoy your new little home. I can't believe they're already getting to young adulthood. That is so cute. Oh, I hope they enjoy their little house. <laughs> okay, so I asked you guys on my Discord server what you wanted me to build in my next habitat. And you guys voted and... Foxes won, as per expected. <laughs> but you guys had so many other amazing ideas, and uh, we will definitely get to them all eventually. So, foxes, um, I'm thinking we will do the enclosure over in this area since this is where they spawn naturally in Minecraft in a normal vanilla world. So, I thought this would be a good area. Um, what type of, what is this? Oh, it's maple, maple syrup. Oh, that's so cool. We can make pancakes and maple syrup, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> so let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and uh, gather some of this wood and clear out a little area. Um, some of you guys had a good suggestion of clearing out the land before I placed down the stuff and then adding back the trees. So that is what we are going to be doing for the fox habitat. I can barely reach. There we go. <laughs> There we go. Collecting all the saplings so we can replant these guys. Ooh, I cut down your tree. I'm sorry, little beehive. Oh, I got a queen bee. I'm not sure what I can do with that, but hey, pretty cool. Um, I guess we could look up what we can do with a queen bee. We can make royal honey. Okay. Oh, we can enchant the queen bee and make royal honey. Okay, so that is what we can do, apparently. Um, good to know. What can we do with royal honey? Royal jelly, I mean. What can we do with it, though? We can make a queen bee with bee grub and royal jelly. Hmm, interesting. Okay, good to know. <laughs> Hello, beautiful. <laughs> Hope you're doing well over here. <gasps> this is a really pretty area. What if we just build around this? So they have a little water hole too, so they can drink water from it. As per usual, if you guys have any ideas for what you would like me to add to the fox habitat, I will of course be reading the comments. I love reading the comments so much and it means a lot that you guys are so enthusiastic about this series because I am so excited to be doing this. <gasps> Did I hear a wolf? Oh, Jesus. Okay, let me, let me get you out of here, buddy. There you go. You better now, gentle giant. There we go. <laughs> That area is so cool. This is floating. There's definitely a wolf around here somewhere. Oh, is it back there? Oh no, it's just another animal that's stuck. Good to know. <gasps> oh no! Oh, that's the wolf. Hey, little guys. I got you. Uh, okay, this turned into an animal rescue situation very quickly. Come over here, guys. There you go. You were already on your way out. Smart little guy. Okay, let's get you guys out of here real quick. Come on. There you go. Freedom at last. Isn't it nice? Oh, I lost my way leads. There we go. Okay, now the chicken or hen or rooster or whatever you may be. Oh my gosh, another one just fell in. Get out of here. Come on. Let's collect some of this chicken for our, for our habitat. There we go. Come on. These chickens are giving me a hard time. There we go, come on. Freedom! Okay, wolf. Come on. Come on, wolfie. Oh, uh, can I not help you because you're, cause you're angry right now? Here, let's make you a little spot to go in over here. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! I didn't mean to, I didn't, oh no, oh no, oh no. Get out of there, little guy. Big guy, I guess. Oh no, okay, we might have to... Oh, I'm so sorry! Oh, I feel so bad, but he was gonna kill us! I didn't mean to hit him, I was trying to make him a platform. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. 
We're gonna block up this little water hole so that there's no way that any other animals can get stuck down here, and then we will continue making the habitat. Okay, I think this area is getting super, uh, super duper cute. I do kind of want to add back a little bit of this gravel because I did like how it looked. But outside of that, yeah, there we go. I think we could turn this into like a little foxhole type of situation. Kind of put a little, a little roof on this guy. And then, where are my torches? There we go. Yes, there we go. Let's add a tree here. And I think that's as clear as we need it. I might need to clear out these guys. But then after that, I think we're good. I know I was supposed to build the walls next, but I kind of want to place back down some of these um, just so we can get a better idea of where the trees will be but hopefully they won't grow in the meantime. And nap time. Ah, oh, good morning. Hello. <laughs> okay, let's start getting these walls a little higher. Okay, I think we got them high enough that nothing can get out or in, but I'm just gonna make sure every corner is just a little higher than it probably needs to be, just to make sure nothing can get in and hurt our little fox friends. At the zoo near me, they have foxes and the foxes like to nap in the trees and it is the cutest thing ever. So I might make a tree that is like climbable for the foxes that is in the center so that they can't obviously escape through the tree, but they could nap in it. I think that would be super cute. <gasps> Wolves. Oh, it's the same ones that were staring up at the ceiling. I have no clue what's going on with them. Okie dokie. Let us grab these, clear out a little bit of this foliage. And this guy's gonna have to go too. Okay, buddies, it's time for you guys all to leave because I'm going to be starting the glass now. So you all should probably skedaddle. Let's try to get you guys out of the relative area. Come on, don't fall in another hole, please. I know there is a hole right here, but there's a way out. I fixed this hole. There's a way out. Now, should it be a little bit wider for these little ox guys? Probably. Let's, let's make it just... A little easier to get out of. There we go. Now it's time for you guys to get out. Now you better not wander back in while I'm smelting more sand. That would be not very nice of you all. <gasps> it's a baby goat. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> get out of here, little hedgehog. Come on. Get. Get. Hey. Get. 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 Get out of here. I'm asking you politely now. Okay, I think we're gonna have to make a dirt wall to keep these guys out while we're making the stuff. Okay, I think everyone's out. Let's do one last scan. Is everyone gone? And we have an intruder. Okay, come on, come on. There you go. And, and there's another one. Okay. <laughs> come on, guys. I'm just trying to help you. I don't think the foxes would be very fond of you all being in their area. Okay. Now is everyone out? Let's see. Check the little corners. I think so. No one's up here, right? Okay, I think the enclosure is completely cleared out now, thankfully. Let us go ahead and let's go and uh, figure out how to get foxes. Um, I think I'm gonna have to do that off camera uh, if I have to go retrieve them, but I could also order them like I did with Lucy, uh, with the wolves. What up guys? I like your horns. Very pretty, kind of like a crown. <laughs> So we should also have a door. Let me go ahead and go make another door. I think we actually just have another one, to be completely honest. And if that's the case, we can just use that door. But I want to put a door on the side so that the zookeepers can get in. We do, we have a single door. <laughs> Let us run over there again and put down the door. There we go. I am going to make this go a little farther. There we go. And... I think we'll make this tree the climbable tree. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of this. Do I have my shears on me? I do, perfect. Let's get these leaves. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give a leaf right now. Won't somebody please get that leaf down? Awesome, let's keep grabbing the wood. Okay, we have the wood, we have the leaves, and there we go. Let's go ahead and start making this beautiful tree so i'm thinking of making it a little bit um 
like rooted in the ground and that's kind of why it's a little shorter than the others and how it's more climbable for the foxes. Okay, and then it'll be boom, 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 boom. Okay, it's not gonna be too pretty, but it will be a tree that they can climb and I think that is adorable. Whoa, <laughs> a tree just got created next to me. Let's get some of these torches out here. Don't want any monsters spawning and hurting our little fox friends. And now I'm out of torches. <laughs> Now, if you hear that my voice is a little bit scratchy today, I do apologize. I um, just woke up and my voice was kind of sore. And so I'm assuming it's from all the recording I've been doing recently, but not to worry. I'm taking cough drops, drinking tea, doing all, everything I can to make sure my voice feels better as soon as possible. I think this is a nice little tree. They can also climb onto this tree, but then I think that is the only trees they can climb up to. I hope they don't fall off of them and hurt themselves. Um, but I think they're smarter than that. I think, I think so. Let's hope so. <laughs> okay, they can climb up here, get all cozy. Cute! Oh, I love it so much. Okay, let's go ahead and get some more sand. Um, I think we actually have just leftover sand, um, but I am going to go ahead and grab some real quick just to make sure we have enough. Got all the sand? I think that should be enough. I don't think we'll need any more. How many did I end up getting? 28. Um, let's hope that's enough. I think it should be. We shall find out. <laughs> and nap time. Let's go ahead and smelt some of this sand and try to make it as quickly as possible into glass. Cockadoodle doo to you too. Oh, it's so pretty in this world. I love it so much. Oh, it's just gorgeous. I just realized I forgot to read a comment in this episode. Oh my gosh, let me go ahead and pop up my comments from the last episode. So I'm recording this before episode three has gone out. So I'm gonna read a comment from the second episode. Oh, this wonderful person taught me the difference between hedgehogs and porcupines. I don't think I brought this up in the last episode, but if I did, just skip this section. <laughs> they said an easy way to tell the difference is the size. Porcupines are dog size and hedgehogs are hand sized. Also, porcupines have very long, usually dark colored quills, while hedgehogs have very short off white spikes. And they said, I hope that helps, love the series. And that was like such a helpful comment. So I'm assuming since these little guys have white spikes and are pretty small, whatever they may be over here, yes. Um, I'm assuming they are hedgehogs. So I, my assumption was correct. They are hedgehogs. Um, if they are accurate, that is. Um, but they're so cute. Oh my God, I love them so much. <laughs> Okay, someone else commented, do you plan on making an aquarium exhibit? Also, if there's butterflies and bugs, you should do a greenhouse where you can hang out with them. That was such a good idea that I literally downloaded a butterfly mod. I want to make, I want to make a blood, a blood, a butterfly aviary now. So thank you so much for the suggestion. Um, and yes, I do plan on doing a aquarium exhibit. Um, I want to, I downloaded the A Few More Fish mod, I believe is what it's called. And I'm gonna be using that to um, get some more fish in the game to make it a little bit more um, fulfilled. And also this is before the aquatic update. So all we would have is really squid if uh, I didn't have the mod. So um, I found that to do that as well. So yeah. Well, our stuff is smelting. I really quickly want to thank you all for the amazing support. You guys have been nothing but amazing to me and I appreciate you guys oh so much. If you guys want to be able to vote on the polls I talked about earlier, uh, go over to my link tree. Uh, it's in the description click on it and then click on the discord button and it will take you straight there and there is where you can vote on all the polls for all my series actually there's a bunch of really fun stuff coming up and i'm super excited to share it with you all and i'm so excited that you all have joined me on this journey and i'm super i'm just super excited for everything i guess <laughs> okay we're almost done only seven more let's go ahead and use the 25 just to see how far we get to know if we need to get more. This has been a 42 minute recording. You can tell how much I enjoy filming this. This has been the long longest recording yet and these episodes keep getting longer and longer. So I have a feeling um, this episode's gonna be kind of long. I hope you all enjoy it though. I'm having to do it this way so that no other animals get into the exhibit before I put the foxes in there. And oh my gosh, it's so tedious, but it is needed and that's okay. Okay, we have nine left. I don't think we're gonna make it all the way to the end. We shall see. Okay, it looks like we are missing just one more block. So let's go ahead and grab some from our uh, furnace and hopefully we will 
be able to finish this off. I'm making this one only two blocks high because there is that bottom that is wood and so it is still eye level with the like visitors of the zoo and so I thought that it looked nice that way. Oh, we have all of them, awesome. Um, let's go ahead and uh, do, 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 do. let's see, hmm, I think I'm gonna do birch wood. I'm gonna do birch wood as the accent to go above the glass. I think that'll look cute. I also need to extend the path to go over to this exhibit uh, once it is fully finished. I'm so excited for when we can like open to the public and have more people here because we're gonna have people in this place. We're gonna uh, have people going to, going about and uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun and it'll mean that we'll be able to take better care of our lovely zoo animals because we'll have more funding. This is the most unconventional way to do this. But it's the way I have began doing it, and I will finish it. Ha ha ha. Get out. Get. There we go. Awesome. I think we'll go ahead and get rid of these so that the animals are just a little bit more viewable. Um, since there is quite a bit of trees already. I'm okay if one grows up there, though. I think that would be pretty. But all the rest are going away. Let me know what else you want me to add to the wolf exhibit and I will talk to Jessa and find out if we need to order the foxes or if we'll be able to wrangle them up ourselves. We shall find out. Thank you all so much for watching this episode and I will see you guys in the next episode. Give this video a big old thumbs up and subscribe. Comment down below and I'll see you next time. Bye!